So guys, welcome back to another video. In this one today, we're going to be talking about the 89 rated team of the season, David Neres. Now this is another one of them blue cards that can be acquired for free. And to get this Neres, all you've got to do is win 10 online single matches using silver players. Sadly, you can't sub on gold players to complete the objective, but nonetheless, it's not too difficult to do as a lot of people in single matches do indeed quit at 1-0. Anyway, in today's video we'll be trying out this 89 rated item to see what it's like in games. But before we get into things, you guys know the drill. In the comment section down below, let me know your thoughts on this card and also let me know if you're going to use it or if you're going to put it into an SBC. If you could leave a like rating on the video, that would be absolutely awesome and don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well if you're new around here. Okay. So, let's take a look at this guy's card. For um, for a freebie, it looks pretty good. The pace and dribbling card stats obviously look very good, but um, it is a shame that he does only have a 3-star weak foot. But on the flip side, it's always good to see an attacker who has 5-star skills. In-game attribute-wise, this Neres does have a couple of standout attributes. In the shooting section, he's got a 92 rating for his finishing and an 88 rating for his shot power. Passing wise, he's got almost perfect vision and almost perfect short passing, which is great to see. But his crossing start of 82 is pretty average at this stage of FIFA, as his his 81 Kev. The dribbling department is where this guy's best attributes are. This Neres has 99 agility, 94 balance, 92 ball control and 96 in-game dribbling. I'm expecting this guy to be pretty good with possession of the ball. Physically, he's got good stamina of 90 and decent strength for a winger of 78. Overall, this card looks decent, but um, it doesn't look amazing. There's definitely some great attributes on this page, but there's also a couple of ones which aren't all that impressive. Anyway, enough of the numbers. Let's get into some games and let's see how this card performs in actual matches. Okay, so for game number one, this is what we have come up against. It's a... It's an interesting side which actually does feature a couple of players who are not on full chem but um, I'm going to presume that this guy is going to start the game by pausing and subbing on uh, someone else for that left winger. On Reed as well to hold off his man and then slide through the ball. Is Neres onside? It appears he is. He's moved his keeper and have fallen for the trap. Here's Hullet. Tries to play Neres. Has he got the pace? He has not unfortunately. He's dispossessed of the ball by Felipe. Henri tries to slide in Neres, who's done well to beat Felipe, and then he's done really well to beat his man. Pulls off the shot, and that is a great goal from Team of the Season Neres. He's done really well to win the ball off the defender, then he's just wiggled through the defensive line before taking off a very nice time shot, which ends up in the far corner. Here's a chance. Marcus Alonso wicks it into the back stick. But unfortunately, uh, Neres is not beating Dinier to the ball. Oh, here's a chance. It's a good break. And Neres, once again, is through. Neres with the shot. Oh, he scored. I thought that was going to go wide for some reason there. But that is a great finish. That wasn't even a timed shot either. He's making some really good runs in behind the defensive line, which is really pleasing. And there is the halftime whistle. So at the break, we have ourselves a 2-0 lead courtesy of Team This Season Neres. Well, looks like we won't be playing a second half because my opponent has decided to rage quit. So, um, yeah, pretty good debut for Neres scoring twice. Let's uh, quickly get into another match. In the next game, this is what we found ourselves up against. It's, uh, it's an interesting hybrid of sorts. It's got Bundesliga players, Premier League, and also a couple of Serie A players. Um, I would suspect this guy is going to go for a formation change since he has a defensive midfielder in the attacking mid role. Henri fans Neres. Neres slides a nice ball through for Hullet and Hullet will take that opportunity. And Neres, just like that, has got himself an assist within the opening five minutes of game number two. Hullet finds Neres through, but the shot is saved by Farman. Henri finds Neres, who gets round his man. Surely that's a penalty. It is. Foul by David Alaba. We've got a chance to equalise. It will be Neres to step up. And he scores. Of course he does. It's 2-2. This game's been a goal fest so far. So the halftime whistle has now blown. And as you can see, yep, it's been one of them games. 
pretty much whatever my opponent does, he just scores. Like, every shot goes in. It's one of them games, which is really frustrating. But anyway, hopefully in the second half, we can uh, pull this back and get the victory. Oh, and there is. Beats David Alaba. And comes inside. Slides the ball through to Thierry Henry, who just can't get round his man. Pull it, plays through Neres. Down that right edge. How's the cross? On the left foot. Back stick to uh, Ibrahimovic. I almost said Thierry Henry there, but it's Ibra at the back stick. And we've scored a fifth in injury time. And that will be game over. And yeah, we've come back. And I'm really happy with uh, the team's second half performance. And there is the full time whistle. We do indeed get the win. Hullet was incredible in this game. He got himself a hat trick. And as you can see, he also got himself a perfect 10 match rating. I thought Neres was pretty good in this game as well. He was uh, very effective in the first half. And as you can see, he got himself a goal and two assists in this game as well. That game was pretty tough. My opponent was very good with the ball. And um, as you saw, he was also very clinical, especially in that first stanza. Anyway, um, let's get into a third game, shall we? And see how we do in game number three. So for game number three, this is what we've matched up against. It's um, it's an interesting side. I've noticed his goalkeeper isn't on full chem, nor is his left centre-back, which is interesting. But he does have a couple of team this season items in this team. So it is going to be a difficult matchup. There is, finds Henri, and he makes a good run, because Henri's going to find him with a nice through ball. Can Neres get the ball into the box? He can. Alexandra is a bit too strong for him, and he uh, dispossesses him. Henri gets the ball to Neres. He's going to try and come inside, and he almost, uh, in fact, he does do really well to beat both Alexandra and the Rossi to the ball, and he's still going. Still going. Has he still got it? No, unfortunately, eventually he's dispossessed. So uh, the halftime whistle has blown, and at the break, it is nil-nil. It's not been the most eventful first half, as you can see. So hopefully we can uh, we can do some more with the ball in the second half. For the second stanza, we will be using Neres as a central attacking mid. Torreira puts the ball through, and now Neres has got chance to give chase. Comes inside with a spin. Gives it to Torreira, who puts it on for Henri, who puts it through to Hullet, and Hullet will score. That is a very nicely worked move, and we've taken the lead Lead, sorry, just after half-time. Henri plays the ball through to Neres. How's the through ball? It's not bad, but Henri has just taken a really weird touch there. Like, seriously, what the hell? We could have scored. Henri plays it inside. Neres beats his man. Goes for the long shot. Oh my word. What a strike that is. What a strike that is. The distance and the power on that shot. That's a fantastic finish from this guy's left foot. And there is the full time whistle. Now the game actually ended in a 3-2 win for ourselves. So I was 2-0 up and then like in the final 10 minutes my opponent scored twice. But then in injury time, as you can see, Thierry Henry picked up a goal and won us the game. Uh, yeah, that game was pretty mad. David Neres does scored an absolutely brilliant goal uh, to make it 2-0 in that game. So um, yeah, pretty happy with his performances so far. I don't think he's like an elite um, winger option, but he's a very good one and I have enjoyed using him. Anyway... Um, that's it for the gameplay for this video. I'll see you guys in a second on the summary page. So, after playing with this Neres a bit more, what are my thoughts on this item? Well, um, pace-wise, as you can imagine, the guy is pretty quick. And I did find him to be pretty nippy. If this guy is given space, he can definitely break away. And he felt very quick running down the wings. His dribbling in-game was excellent. Like, truly brilliant. His on-the-ball ability, I thought, was class. He controls the ball really well. He's incredibly agile. And he's easy to pull off skill moves with. He's also got great balance. So when he's been pushed and pulled by defenders, he'll still stay on his feet, which was uh, really impressive. Neres's passing was um, it was interesting. I found his crossing to be pretty average, but his on the floor passing I thought was really good. Despite what the stats say, I actually found Neres's long passing ability to be uh, decent. He put through plenty of good through balls for me and created plenty of pretty good chances. When it came to scoring goals, as you saw in the clips, I had no problem scoring goals with this Neres item. He can certainly put the ball between the sticks 
um, in this game. Inside the box, I thought his finishing for a winger was very good. Um, he's very composed when taking off shots, which is obviously good to see. He's also got a good power shot on him, which obviously is very pleasing to me because, as you guys know, I love to abuse the cross goal power shot. His long shots are a bit inconsistent, but uh, nonetheless, I was uh, pretty pleased with this Neres' shooting ability, especially considering he's only got 88 shooting on his card. As we know, Neres does have a freestyle weak foot in FIFA, and that definitely does limit him quite a bit in the game, which is a bit of a shame because, uh, yeah, his left foot's very good, but his right foot sucks. Aerially, this guy's poor. Um, he's got all right jumping, but he's five foot nine, and at this stage of FIFA, both centre backs and full backs will dominate this guy in the air. Positionally, though, I thought this guy was class. His run-making ability was definitely one of the best things about him. He made so many good runs in behind, which allowed me to create opportunities. Physically, um, Neres was decent too, for a winger anyway. I thought he battled rather well, and he definitely held his own in duels against pretty strong defenders. Overall though, I like this card. It's a goal scoring winger and those are the kind of wide attackers that I like to use in FIFA. Like I've said a few times in this video, this isn't an elite attacking option and I wouldn't use it in the starting 11, but I do think this card could definitely have some impact coming off the bench late into games. So guys, those are my thoughts on the 89 rated team of the season David Neres card. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. If you could leave a like rating on this video, that would be greatly appreciated. If you've got any questions, put them in the comment section below. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. Thanks for watching. I will catch you in the next one.